Casey, don't go past your belly button. Casey by himself, Aubrey. I don't like Casey by himself. No, he's not. Trevor was with Daddy. I don't do water I can't see through. What? I don't do water I can't see through. No, oh, you do. <laughs> Ellie, swim to daddy. Jeff? Jeff, she's trying to come to you. Just kick your feet to daddy. Just kick your feet to daddy. Yeah, what is this? It's a whale. Can I have it? Do you know there's whales in Georgia water? I want those. Just don't drop it, Casey, because then it's going to be hard to find it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is Wednesday. Today, my husband actually, just trying to make sure that there's nothing behind me that you're not supposed to be seeing. Um, today, my husband uh, is probably going to buy a car. Um, being that his commute is the type of commute it is, um, mileage wise, he's not super far away from home but it's like stop and go traffic and um you know here i think the highest speed limit he sees is 55 so um it just wouldn't make sense for him to have a truck you know to go back and forth to work so he's gonna buy like a piece of crap car that's what all the guys at work seem to do there like they all have these like old just beaters so um he's gonna buy i think it's a nissan a Nissan today and um, it needs a little bit of work and he'll fix it up and it'll just be his commute his like you know commuter car and then um, that way he can take his time because he would really like an old Chevy truck like a project truck that he can work on so um, I have the car today because I have to pick him up to take him to pick up this car and then um, I don't know if he's gonna start driving it within the next week or so because I mean it does need work I'm not quite sure what he's gonna do with that um, but yeah, so I had to take him to work this morning. I'm super tired. I did not get to bed till one o'clock last night. My room is a disaster. I really need to clean it up today, but, um, not sure if I'll get to it or not, but, um, do you have to take my cat to the vet today? 
Um, we did find her. She got out on July 4th night, so Monday night, and then we didn't get her back until Thursday, like, around noon. Um, she was filthy when we got her, and I think she's just... I, I don't know what happened, but one of her back legs and one of her front legs are messed up. So we're going to go and see and basically see what they say without it costing us a million dollars. I'm going to go in and say, look, you know, everything needs to be approved with me by a number before you do it. I love my cat, but we're just not spending thousands of dollars for our cat that for you to say, oh, we have to put her down. You know what I mean? Like if we're going to have to put her down, then we can make that decision affordably. And some people may not agree with this, and I'm sorry if you don't agree with that, but that's our thoughts on it. The cat is 23 years old, she's lived a very good life, and I'm not going to go and invest all this money in her because I need to hold on to an animal, or my husband needs to hold on to an animal, or whatever. So, um, we gotta do that today. We need to make a bunch of returns at the stores today. I was gonna, like, take them, this camera is really heavy. I was going to take them to, like, see a movie, or, um, do Chuck E. Cheese, or something like that, but, uh... I just don't think we'll have time today after the vet appointment and I do need to get my room picked up a little bit I need to do some dishes and stuff like that so I figured I would vlog today um, hopefully you're liking the quality of this camera a lot better uh, it's definitely a higher quality for sure um, I edited my first video and I was like whoa <laughs> I need to wear more makeup and yeah <laughs> so um, yeah that's our plan today I figured I'd do just a uh, kind of update in here where people have asked about the cat and you know kind of talk about the car situation and everything but this will go in our weekly vlog so hopefully we get into some fun stuff today <laughs> Ellie you have to wait your turn you go first and then Trevor goes <laughs> So I've been watching some Disney at Heart today and just getting caught up on vlogs on all the people that I like to watch. Um, we did take the cat and um, good news, bad news, I guess. She had an abscess in her arm. Normally they would like take it off in surgery. Well, they obviously can't put her to sleep. So they just basically took two spots and cut it open and drained it. And it's like still draining um they gave her some pain meds and she has two more doses over the next two days and then she has antibiotics for i think like two weeks something like that so we're gonna see if that'll heal on its own so happy with that i um sat down there and filmed some videos and you can see the difference of color in the wall on this camera um watch my disney at heart i filmed another back to school haul school Shopping now is done, and I filmed my Hallmark haul. So happy with that. Uh, just been kind of like putting some stuff away. I think now we are gonna run out and um, do all of my returns and um, see if it's time, you know, go to the bank and then possibly get my husband from work. So um, having a really hard time with this camera. I do keep looking at myself, and I hate. When I see people using this camera doing the same thing, so something I'm going to definitely have to work on. Um, I know I'm going to get people asking about it, and someone mentioned to me the other day, so I wanted to show some makeup products, because I am by no means a beauty guru. Um, but the other day, someone asked on my uh, Instagram what color... I was wearing for my George Aquarium video and it's this unique come on come on oh that's creepy why is it doing that did you guys see that oh why is it doing that that's so creepy I guess it's picking up in the mirror so yeah so there's that come on but it is the unique um, dainty it's the name of it and it's like this like purpley color and i like this eyeshadow but my eyes water a lot see how it's like um 
like spongy. I like it, but my eyes water a lot and it ends up like transferring makeup a lot. And so, um, it's not my favorite, but I do really like this color. And then I went to um, Sephora the other day and this lady was helping me find um, a concealer. So the concealer I'm wearing, see it's starting to wear off, but this is the Sephora um, Bright Future um, Gel Serum Concealer. When you first put it on, it definitely does take away the dark more and you just kind of see that line. And then whenever I wear that Unique, I've been wearing it with this. And this is the Laura Mercier Amethyst Caviar Stick Eye Color. This thing is super expensive, but she said it lasts forever. It's that color right there. Sorry, I can't do this with, I need like one more hand. But I do wear that with that Unique color. And then today, um, if, and this is a place I've never shopped at before, you go on hsn.com, like home shopping network. If you like certain high-end makeup products, sorry, it's getting so dark, um, go on there. I found this Too Faced chocolate bar set, and it came with this, and then it came with both of these, and I don't know if I will use these. I want to YouTube it and see what the colors look like, but it's the melted, Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Metallic Lipstick in Metallic Candy Bar. And then there's another one in Metallic Chocolate Diamonds. So these like melted bars. And I'm like, you know what, if I don't use it, I can put it on eBay. But for those two plus this chocolate bar, it was $50 and then I had a 15 off 50 and it was free shipping. So I paid um, $35 for the palette and the two lipsticks. Not quite sure how much they would be in store, but I thought it was a good deal and it comes with all of those colors. And today I am using this color, which is the cho white chocolate and I use that in like my lid. I use this marzipan as like a all over and then I'm using candied violet and black forest truffle together yeah, I'm not a beauty guru by any means clearly but um, I like the way that they look I feel like if you have um, brown hazel eyes it would be a good palette for you to use but and I've been meaning to answer those questions so sorry that kind of turned into long-winded but yeah so we are gonna head out now and um, get all that stuff done and then take my husband to maybe buy his car tonight. And all right, so we are done at Target and um, Casey went ahead and spent his money that he earned for jumping in the pool. We told him if, you know, you jump in and, you know, you do it without holding on, then we'll, you know, give you a, basically a toy to, because it was such a big thing. So he ended up getting this really cool, it's like you can make uh, um, yeah. Ninja Turtles. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hold it up, Casey. Yeah, so you can like make Ninja Turtles out of Play-Doh and all kinds of stuff, so I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, we also did get some summertime clearance. Yeah, Ellie got a drink, uh, and I'm drinking Casey's drink, actually. Um, but so now we're gonna run to Hobby Lobby to return something, and then I need to run to Staples to return something. Yeah, it's Cinderella. And then hopefully it'll be time to uh, pick up my husband by then. But yeah, so it's just hot. I don't even really wanna be out, but sometimes you gotta get those. Oh, I wish we could pick up Tina, Ellie. Tina's far away. No, Grandma too, she's far away. Huh? can't pick up anyone, we gotta pick up daddy. Um, oh yeah, Kristen's, she's still kind of far away though. <laughs> Alright, let's go, find the expo markers. See, I like buying the Tyco Chondria ones, pass on that. Go to aisle four.
Ooh, these are the pens I like using for planning. Thanks for helping, guys. What? I asked you guys to look for the um, expo markers. Trevor found them. Where are you? Over there. Get the pack that's five dollars. If they have all black, that would be great. I want colors. You don't need them, and you're dripping skinny. She was singing just a second ago. Sing your song. Ellie, sing your song. All right, you guys can cross the street. I hate how whenever I'm wearing the goggles and my head it pushes my eyebrows down and then I look mad. Hey, you need to, um, I really hope you brought in elastic, like I asked. Sing your song, Ellie. What is it? Oh, Adam, can you teach me how to sing the ABCs? I can't do it. Why can't you? Because, because I'm not big yet. <laughs> yes, you are. No, I'm not. See, you're bigger than me. Uh, Aubrey, you're going to take her out. Those tubes are way too big. Uh -huh. Both of you have your tags hanging out of your dresses. Hot Mess Express, party of two. better. What? That was better. Watch Trevor. Trevor goes straight up. Trevor. Trevor. Do a handstand. Do a handstand. See how his legs go straight. Well, he didn't do it that time, but his legs go straight. He was under and he was up. But it doesn't matter. He goes straight to, to the floor to do it, and that's why he can keep his legs up for so long. Yeah, he dives straight down so that he's going straight into up and down position. See? Okay. <laughs> You're... <laughs> Ellie, go knock Trevor out of the tube. Away now. You okay, Ellie? No. I think we're gonna have to take Trevor to the emergency room. Let me see it. I think we're gonna have to just chop your arm off. Let me see. I don't even think it'll come up on the camera. Oh, I feel free. Okay. Can I see? There's nothing to see. Did you see that, Casey? They're gonna have to chop off his arm. Can you believe that? I think like 
an eagle came up and bit his arm the way he's acting. Mm. It's gonna be how Christmas is gonna be now. Allie, come here. Did she just go back to bed? So yesterday, uh, we told, well, a few days ago, we told Ellie if she uh, jumped into the pool, then we would give her a baby doll. And it's just something that, you know, I'm working, yeah, you saw in the last vlog that Casey got money and um, he got to drink a soda because he jumped in the pool because I'm just trying to teach them the confidence of, you know, they can do it. You know, I get them to a point that I know that they can and get them confident in that place of where they are and then you know we try to encourage them a little bit more so you know I don't we don't put our kids in swim lessons or anything like that Ellie probably could benefit from some but she's still just young and my kids are just ready to swim or whatever so uh, there's your baby doll for jumping in the pool so you got a new baby doll because you jumped in the pool yesterday who did get me that mommy did yes last night uh, your hair looks awesome no let her see if she wants to do it so you see that one? That's one I picked. It's like a doctor baby. No, I think it's got like stuff where she can do a checkup on it and all kinds of stuff. No, I think it's like a stethoscope. So you like a doctor baby? That's the only one I could find. Wait, wait, wait. The stethoscope twisted and yeah, it's got all the stuff on it. Aubrey, I'll help you get it out. Do you ever have those moments? Oh man, that's like last night makeup under my eyes. Um. Anyways, do you ever have those moments where you do something and you think your husband's gonna kill you? So the other day, I placed two orders on Pottery Barn, and one was for this. Silver glitter star pumpkin luminary. Um, so you can see it's like that size, like that's my face. So I was like, okay, um, they had one. Sorry, they had one from last last Halloween that was the same price as that one, or maybe a little bit cheaper. That one was like 15, and the other one was like 24 or something like that. So I'm like, okay, it's gonna be like you know like maybe like the size of my arm or something so i just got this box and i'm like oh maybe they extra padded it or whatever no that is a giant pumpkin like i'm pretty sure yeah like <laughs> it's bigger than my head no no no, no don't rip it open yet no because it's all it's like um yeah, I don't remember them, but like you can see it's like plastic. So it'll be really, really, really pretty. You know, rather we put it on the front step or whatever. But you know, normally I make these purchases and then I like throw them in the basement and then, you know. When the time comes, I'll tell my husband, be like, oh yeah, you know, we got that on clearance or whatever, and it's not a big deal. But he's not gonna believe me when I say the price I paid for that, but it truly was. Like, I paid around $40, $38 for the big one and the little one, because the big one was from last season, and I had a 10 off 50 for ordering their backpacks. So yeah, I just thought that that was one of those like funny moments that people would probably either relate to or I'm sure I'll get those comments that are like you shouldn't hide from your husband and then I'll be like oh well if you haven't hit a purchase from your husband yet then you haven't been married long enough so it's coming